Hello everybody and welcome once again to Forever Stranded. In this tip, I'm going to show you all about rockets, or at least put it this way, as much as I know about rockets. So let's get on with it. So, we need a rocket. We've got a launch pad here. This is the 5x5. Normally I'm using 3x3s, but they're very fast and it's a bit bad for demonstration purposes. And here I've got a structure tower that has to go be, be in line with the base of the, the launch pad. So now we're going to deal with the three different types of rockets. There's a cargo rocket, and this is actually basically a cargo rocket. It's in fact an asteroid miner. And the only difference is really it's got um, mining blocks on the top of it, uh, drills. Everything else is the same. It's got a cargo, it's got an inventory, so chests. It's got a guidance computer in the middle of it here, and that's it. And a cargo rocket basically consists of, well, rockets and an inventory, as simple as that. So let's build one. But yeah, let's actually what I'll tell you what we'll do. Well actually the first one we'll build is a satellite rocket. Now a satellite rocket is a simple design. In my case I'm going to build one use one engine and I'm going to use five tanks. And at the top of it we're going to put a satellite bay. Now normally I'd put something into the satellite bay. But for this purpose, I'm not going to demonstrate. I'm not going to do that because really, what I want to do is I want to show you where this rocket's going to come back again. It doesn't need a guidance computer; it just needs a satellite bay. And you can do exactly the same for a space station. You can have a simple rocket like this with a satellite bay on it. Put the satellite, um, the station enclosure into the satellite bay and launch it. Simple as that. So now it needs fueling up. So there's different ways to do this. And we'll do the we'll do the easiest one to start with. So we take a linker like this. But the coordinates are unset on this linker at the moment. If I shift right click the fueling station here like that, and then have a look at this, it's now got a demo coordinates. If it's the wrong one, I want to clear it. All I have to do is come along to a, any block, or shift right click that, have a look. Now it's got coordinates unset. So let's carry on with this. Put that. Shift right click that onto here and then shift right click it onto the rocket like this. And then we should, if I got it right, see a line. Oh no, you're not going to see a line yet because I've not built the rocket. So we have to scan the rocket like that. This is why I've done a 5x5. Five five. If I did a 3x3, three three, it would have just gone zip and you wouldn't even see it and build it. And then it has the red bars when it's being built like that. So now it should be a rocket. In fact, you can see here's the line is actually already attached now. And it, therefore, it should be filling up. So let's have a look. Shift right click the rocket, and you can see the fuel is going up. OK. And then the next thing you need to do, and you also get this generates an output signal here. And then I can link this rocket monitoring station to the, lock, to the rocket as well. So I can shift right click that on there, and then right onto the rocket, like I've not done it yet. Now it's already linked as it happens. I'm not sure why, but it is. And then I can basically launch it. So I can press the launch button here. I could also give it a redstone, a redstone signal. Here it says redstone control normal. So that basically means when it gets a pulse, it will launch the rocket. Let's give it a pulse. Let's get some redstone out of my inventory somewhere. Let's take 32 of these. Put that down here. When I put it down here like that, it sends the rocket up. You see that light's now gone off because its fuel has gone out. Now this is going to take a very long time to go up because it really is minimum and you see the acceleration is very slow. The next rocket we'll build will actually do, we're going to send it to a destination. A particular destination. So this one's going to go up and we can look along the rocket monitoring station here and you can see it's going up here, that's the altitude, very slowly, and the velocity is increasing very slowly. And the fuel is actually going down reasonably quickly. So that, as far as I can see, is the cheapest way to send up a single inventory block. I'll get out of the way for a second until this clears. <laughs> now here's a manned rocket, this is actually the one I travel in. And now the manned rocket, the only difference between that is it's got a seat and a guidance computer. I've actually got lots of engines on this, and the reason for that is basically I want to go up fast. 
Now, fuel in rockets is a combination of how many tanks you've got, plus how many engines you've got, plus the weight. Interesting. You can actually, with a, you can have with too few engines, you can have a lot more tanks, and it won't actually launch. With a, with a lot of engines and less tanks, it can actually go up. And the reason for that is the fuel consumption is a combination of thrust and which gives you the speed it's going up at or the acceleration it's going up therefore the time so if it's going reaches a thousand blocks is where its target is the time it takes to do that is also plays a part in the amount of fuel it's consuming if you understand what i mean so this rocket goes up a lot faster and comes down a lot faster and the special thing about having a seat is it will land in the same coordinates as you started it from so in this case, if I launch this rocket, it will actually, well, let's go to actually the actual, so let's sit on it, and it tells me what the destination is. So the destination is X is 186, and Z is minus 14, 1240. So if I go up in this rocket, which I can do, because it's already loaded up, and it's destination Earth, it will come up, and it will go down, let's do it. I haven't got a spacesuit on, but it doesn't matter, because when you're in the rocket, you don't see the spacesuit. He doesn't need it until you actually change dimension. And we're not changing dimensions, we're just going up and coming down again. In fact, you don't actually even need the spacesuit until you actually get out of the, out of the um, rocket. I know that's sort of a bit illogical, but it's the way it works, so that's fine. So now we've reached the top and we're starting to come down again. And as we get towards the, the ground, the rocket will... I think, I'm not quite sure what that is. I think that's cloud, actually, that you can see. And flames and cloud. As you go through the cloud, it sort of makes... colours, strange colours. So you see, what we do is we actually land in exactly the same coordinates as we set off. So that's X186 and Z is minus 1240. Now, if I go to the moon, and I can do that by coming in here and shift right clicking this again, and then I can select the destination, and I can select the planet list on here, and I can select lunar, and I can select that. When I actually go, it's the same. When I go up to the moon, it'll land at the same coordinates. That's all you need to know. It's as simple as that. Four uh, rockets with planet chips in them. So if I shift right click that again, and you look in the guidance computer, I've got a planet chip here. And the planet name is going to is Lunar, because that's the one I just set it to. If I change it again, select destination Earth, select, and then have a look at this. Shift right click, open up the guidance computer. Now the planet name is Earth. The other type of chip you can put in here are uh, space station chips. And then it will go to the space station. And it will go to the docking pad you've put on the space station. And it's that, as simple as that. And when it goes up to the space station, it remembers the coordinates from where it was sent from. And it goes comes back to those coordinates. As simple as that, right? A bit complicated, but never mind. So the next one we're going to do is we're going to send a rocket up with an inventory. Now, our inventory is basically anything you want. So in this case, we've got a little bit more weight. So we're going to add some more rockets into there. In fact, I'm going to build the next largest one, which is actually two rockets and six fuel tanks. And in the middle of this, there, there, this time we're going to put into this a guidance computer and an inventory. We're going to use the, a straightforward small storage crate. You can use anything, chest, whatever you like. So we'll put the crate at the top, because that's the way I like it, and we'll put the guidance computer here, like that. And then you can send this rocket off to a destination. But first of all, we'll build it. And I'll break this because I don't want it to launch when it fuels up. So we'll scan that. And it'll be fine. And you see it's got an acceleration is 0.2 meters per second. And the fuel usage is twice as much. But And the weight is 10. The previous time the weight would have been 8. And the thrust is 20. So we can now build this. Which have been seven actually, thinking about it. So it's built and it's ready to go on. So now it's going to be fueled up automatically. 
I'm not sure why actually it shouldn't be. It should really be linked. If I want to fuel it up automatically, I should be linking the fueling station here. You see it's done. I should be linking this fueling station here to the rocket assembly machine. And the same with the rocket monitoring station, like that. And that should link these up. Maybe it's just remembered that from previously when I did it before. So then it automatically fuels it up when it's built. So now it's built and it's got an inventory. Now we can send it off to a particular place. Now the trick here is, from what I believe, is that where your destination is sending it to also needs to be chunk loaded. What we're going to do first of all, is we're going to put in here a docking pad, also called a landing pad, as opposed to a launch pad. Now the, the docking pad here has got space for a linker and it's also got a name. We'll come to that later on. Now the rocket's built, we don't need the launch pad anymore. We just need a docking pad. And what we're going to do is we're going to send this rocket here. Now, this is chunk loaded, as you can see. I've got a chunk, a chunk load here, and I've got it set to two chunks. And here I've got another docking pad. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this linker here, which is pointing to nowhere at the moment, and I'm going to shift right click this docking pad here, and I'm going to put the linker into this docking pad here and that is its destination unfortunately it's not working too well let's launch it off anyway because the other rockets now come down should have done we'll go and find that in a minute so this rocket will go up it goes up a lot faster because it's got two engines in it and it should come down in that chunk unfortunately it seems to take a long time and it's not as quick as it should be and I'm not sure whether that's just uh, because it wasn't chunk loaded as much as it should have been I don't know but anyway if I send this rocket off to say the moon it would be going up and it would be coming straight down and it land on the moon almost almost immediately but in this case it'll disappear up and I'm not sure when it's going to come down again it's gone now if we're going to check the rocket monitoring station can find it there's here we are you see it's halfway up we'll leave that for a few seconds because i want to build the next in fact i might as well wait a few seconds right today i want to build the next rocket here we go how's it doing it's nearly reached its altitude and this time you see you'll notice it's actually got a little bit of fuel the first rocket had no fuel at all now that should start to come down and it should start to land here But I don't see it for the time being. What we're going to do is build another rocket. Exactly the same thing. I'm going to take out the linker in this case now. Because this linker is for that particular one. Fortunately, I can't name the linker, which is a bit of a shame. I'd like to be able to do that. So this is, that linker belongs there. I'm going to build this back, put this back as a, as a launch pad and build another rocket. We're going to build a similar rocket. This time we're going to do it with... Um, Two tanks. I'm going to use a tank instead of a, an inventory, just so you can do it with think, so you can understand you can do it with fluids as well. It's just checking around if I can see it coming back again. So we need a guidance computer again, and we're going to put a pressurized tank in it. And I've got some of those. I think I've got some of those in my gold bag here pressurized tanks actually I don't see it in there maybe it's in the I'll take some of these tanks out of here by the way no I don't see them and maybe it's in the maybe it's in the iron backpack here yes we've got plenty in here like that and I've actually got some more motors I wanted to take another motor anyway for the next for the next rocket and I'm going to put this time, I'm going to put a fluid inventory in it. So you go to the computer, fluid. So we'll scan that and build that. In fact, I can actually simply click build. I don't have to scan it, it'll build it because I know it's going to be within range. And it's going to, you see, it actually changes slight color, it gets the line. So it's now loading up, it's fueling up like that. And you can see here's the pressure, pressurized tank as a, um, and we can put stuff in it as well. As an inventory so let's say can we put some stuff into this 
Don't know. What have I got on me? Maybe I've got a fuel canister in here. Empty, 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 empty. Oh, that's got hydrogen in it. Okay, let's put some hydrogen in there. If I don't know whether I can do this, yes, I should be able to do. Put that in there. Now this has got two buckets of hydrogen, 2,000 millilitres of hydrogen. Milli buckets, I should say, really. So it's got two buckets of hydrogen in there. And what I'm going to do with this one is I'm going to send it off. I'm going to send it off again to the same dimension as we're in, so Earth. See, I'm breaking up those. I should really show you why. Let's put this one in here like this. If I can reach it. There we go. Put this back again. Now, I can't reach this block here. You see, it just as I get to it, I just can't reach it. So I can't right click this block. That's why I take away this one as well. Because then I can actually right click the side of it and then you can get it. Now we're going to get another linker here and we're going to send that further afield. Where we're going to go to is another another location I've got set up with a launch pad here and you'll see here I've got a spot loader so that spot load if I press F9 will load, keep this chunk here loaded in memory and that's actually important for these rockets they need to be chunk loaded for them to come back again and the spot loader just loads one chunk so it's basically minimum so here we have a docking pad. I don't know if I've got anything in the document. Let's have a quick look. So from satellite. So that would send it back to 1240. 186, 1240. I think that's probably the wrong location. So we've got this one here. Now we just simply shift right click this one here like that. So that should now tell me where we are. So 534 minus 1540. If you've been watching my other videos, that's actually the location of the docking pad on the space station. So let's go back again now and come back here and put this linker in the docking pad like that okay now we can launch the rocket it's ready and it should just go and should land over there and off we go you see this one's still hasn't returned and it should have done most we'll, you'll see a comparison in a minute now the next rocket let's get this out of here again in fact I think those are the two there aren't they yes let's break this up if I break that up with a linker inside it it will just the link will disappear so you can lose your linker let's fill this up again and make a next another rocket this time I'm going to use three engines And it's always the center as well. If you can actually build your rocket like this, when it gets formed, it'll go to the center. So let's do that and put in. We'll put in. Actually, I can put in. I can still use uh, three engines. I can do it like this. Actually, I'll do. So I've got six engines on that. Uh, six tanks on it. And what we'll do is we'll put in a guidance computer here on the top of it. And then we'll scan and build this. So in fact, I could, oh, that's not a guidance computer, is it? Try again. That's a docking pad. Like that. I wish we'll scan. We'll scan this one this time because there's a slight change in the configuration. So it's clear for liftoff and then we'll build it. You'll see the fuel usage goes up, but the acceleration has gone up this time to 0.4 meters per second. So it's going to use less fuel. And then it'll form and it'll jump back. I think, yeah, there you go. So now it's exactly in the center of this launch pad. Again, we have to drill, drill this up here. And what we're going to do this time is we're going to go to the space station and tell it where to land. In fact, we'll go in our own rocket to the space station. So what I have to do first of all is to change the chip here for the chip for the space station. So let's get it out of my bag. Um, I think space station one two. There we go. I built I built a special space station. I can get on this rocket now by right clicking it, and you see the destination's Earth. And one of the keys in the options is to change it. So if I go and have a look at the options, press Escape Options Controls. 
you'll see I have got actually X set up. What did I set it up to be? I've forgotten, but let's see if I can find it. Tools. It's actually not always so straightforward to find. I think it should be an advanced rocketry, but. Oh, yes, there we go. My. You can actually toggle the jetpack, which is an X, and open the rocket GUI, which I've set up to be an apostrophe, because it, I think it clashed as a standard. So that's how you do it. So you press the apostrophe key and you get the interface. So then you can take out here the Planet ID chip and put in here the Station 2 chip. And if you look at it, there's nothing there. It just says Station 2. Okay, let's go. When I'm going up there, I'm going to have to put my my uh, suit on. So let's get that out of here. And let's put that on. Where's the fourth one? Trousers, huh? And up we go. You'll see the acceleration of this one's a lot faster because of the nine uh, engines. So now we change dimension and we come down again onto the space station and you can see where we're going to land on the space station. And the other rocket should be exactly here when we land. Or where are we going to put it, shall we say. But I didn't show you something I should have meant to show you because you can actually press um, select destination here as well and you can then select different different uh, launch pads so here I've got station one as a as a docking or uh, a landing pad or a docking pad so there we go in fact that rocket is uh, I think this is a different rocket well, I don't think I've sent it yet Anyway, ah, yes. You see here I've got a a, land, a docking pad or a landing pad with station two and a linker in it, okay? And here I've got another one with the name station one. I could rename this, maybe it's better to call it say pad one or something like that. One, like that. And this one I can call pad two all the same space station I thought it was a bit confusing so bad to like that but what I'm going to do is I'm going to disassemble this rocket disassemble and we'll break it up now So now we we'll get back into our own rocket. What I need to do now is set up a link up to point to this docking pad here. So I want to point to this docking pad. So now it says it's dimension two. Let's get back in our rocket. Oh, I don't want to link it to the rocket. I want just to link that. I want to get into it. Now it says destinations Earth. But now let's go and have a look at the sorry, wrong button. Let's press the apostrophe. That wasn't the apostrophe. And look at the um, guidance computer this time it says space station 2 and it's also got underneath that two coordinates x and z and those are the coordinates that we're going to return back to so if i actually look here and have a look at where i am on the minimap my x is 534 and my z is fi minus 1540 which was where the second or third rocket i sent off should disappear to so let's go back to earth now, if I press it, if I press the apostrophe key again and select destination, I should be able to see SDC. Now I've got pad one and pad two. And pad two didn't show up last time because it was a rocket in its place, and we couldn't see it. It couldn't land on it, so it didn't allow me to see to see it, which is pretty neat actually. But I didn't even know that. So the next rocket we're going to send up is we're going to land it on that on that pad two. Let's get down. 
I'll have a look over. Actually, it should be over this direction, shouldn't it? What I'm looking forward to see if that second, that first rocket, has, no, the second rocket has sent up actually has landed here. Not yet, huh? Right, now what is strange here is I'm going to build another rocket. This one here, so actually, it's an exact copy of the one I've just dismantled, haven't I? So let's right click this here and then put this link into here. So that is now pointing to dimension minus two, which is the space station. So let's get it going and then let's launch this because it's ready to launch and that will land on the space station. While that's going up, you can watch it for a few seconds. Let's go and have a quick look at. Um, got a beacon here as well let's go and have a look and see if we can find that rocket at the first rocket I sent up because it will have probably landed by now so let's go a little bit faster and here I've got a beacon which is just about the corner of the range and if I've not told you the range before the range is a 512 square centered on the middle of the launch pad and here I've got a beacon which is pointing to the end of that and here I've got um, a mega torch on a pink piece of wool so what I can do here is I can basically scan along here, like this, and every 128 blocks I put another mega torch with it on a piece of wool, so I can see roughly where I am. What's the height of my 76? I should get over that, like this, and then we'll reach the end. I think this is the last one here. I can check it because I actually put markers down for this. So if I do uh, control B and I've got these, if I highlight these, turn them on, they're not pads, I want the points, point two on, point one and three and four. Like that. You see that's the end re range of that. So I can go along here, 128 blocks. And the reason 128, well, it's a quarter of 512, but also your range, your vi visual range for rockets is around about 64 blocks. So if there's rockets landed in this area, we should be able to see it. There it is, look, like that. So that was the rocket I sent up. So let's go down here. And we have two choices. We can relaunch this rocket from here and hope it goes somewhere useful, which it's not going to. Or we can dismantle it. So let's dismantle the rocket. And then, oops, sorry, wrong one. And let's break it up take the parts like that so now we can go back to the rocket station we can take off go to the I'll have a quick look actually because where I say I think it's this one oh, that's the farm let's go back again try again it's this side here this is the other rocket and the other rocket should have landed on here it is chunk loaded and it should have done it by now because as far as I can see it should be as quick as the first rocket. Let's go up to the space station. It's time we can yeah we'll take the rocket again. It's disappeared but it's not. I think it's still here. Yeah look. See it's still here. I've seen it that happen once or twice before. All you do is I'll just do a pause now. I'll save the game uh, and reload it again. Just like that. that. Just all I did was save them, quit and save the title and open it up again. That's it, nothing else special. So now, Space Station 2. So we can also select the destination. And you see you've got two pads. Now, we'll go to pad 1 because that's the one we're going to go to. And you can click it like this, which is the default for this rocket anyway. And then we can press Space. Now it says Destination, Space Station 2, Pad, Pad 1. So let's go got my space suit on and with a bit of luck the first rocket or the third rocket whatever which one it is the last one we sent up should already be here and after this I'm going to do one more rocket and then that's the end of this episode takes a bit of time especially going up and down as you see now we're landing on the space station and that rocket should be on this pad that's facing this direction here and 
there it is. In fact, I've been sensible. I've picked up a. I, don't, I didn't do a linker. I should have put a linker in here and sent this rocket back to that destination. Um, so we'll look. What have I got here? This is the fueling station. If I link this fueling station here, let's get out another linker. Let's see if we want here and coordinates on set. I think it's not set up. So I shift right click this here. And I'm going to go down underneath because I want to click this this land uh, this pad and I can't. Oh, maybe not can do it this way. Look, break that block and then I can shift right click it on here like that. And when I do that, you should get the line. As you can see now, is the line pointing to this rocket. I'm going to do the same with the um, monitoring station and put it in there. And in the meantime, I'm going to put back these two blocks here like that. Those two slabs. So this time, it'll launch if I want it to launch. Let me just check where it was planned to sent to go. I can't remember where I sent it to go to. Let's have a look. Well, it goes back to Earth fairly near to Earth. We'll just send it off anyway, see where it comes back. What you don't want to do is to put the rocket monitoring station and the fueling station beside each other. I'll show you why. Unless, you, unless it's deliberate. I should have enough energy in it. Like that. And then I want to link this thing to the docking pad again. Uh, hmm. Because I moved its location, it's broken its link. So let's shift right click that on there. Dig up this hole here. And shift right click it here. And it's linked successfully. Is it, fuel, is it fueled up yet? Yes, it is. So, because of this, this will get emitted right a redstone signal because it's already fueled up. It's not done it, and this is going to do normal red redstone control. So basically, what happens is it fills up and sends the rocket off straight away, and it disappears off, and you you haven't got time to do anything with it. So, it ain't such a good idea. So that's why I don't do it that way. I give one block in between the two, and it needs power, of course. Let's put the rocket monitoring station back in it here again, like that. Let's relink this again to the uh, to the docking pad, like that. Put these two blocks back. Double check these coordinates. So it's one eighty six, twelve minus twelve forty six. See if I can remember that for a few seconds. Now our rocket has also got linked here. It should be linked. We can't. There should be a line. It's sometimes difficult to say, to see. I mean, it should be. There's a fueling station here, and this fueling station is linked to this docking pad underneath the rocket here. The rocket should be ready and fueled up, and it is. And the destination is Earth. Let's go. So that other rocket should have. I think it's actually going to go back to the landing pad. Oh, the launch pad I sent it from. I think it's around about there. Here we go. Just trying to see if I can see the rocket. Uh, if it actually shows up on the mini map. 12.46 wasn't it, 1.86, so it's about six blocks away from here. Yeah, look, you see. So the rocket has returned, and it took a while for it to return. Uh, in the meantime, this one went up and down to the same coordinates. Cool, huh? Right, last rocket. This time we're going to do a manned rocket. I said I was going to do a manned rocket, I think. So let's remove that, break that down, put back the, the two launch pads to make it a viable launch pad again. And this time we're going to build a rocket. It doesn't matter what we're going to do with it. Uh, got four inches, so I can pull four down. That makes no big deal. Do like that, for example. Different pattern. And put down some it. And uh, tanks on it. Of 
it needs a guidance computer like this and it needs a seat then it's a manned rocket like that so we'll scan it and we'll build it and it should be viable indeed it is this time the acceleration is 0 0.4 0 0.5 and it's got more fuel than it is so we can build it now it needs a planet chip in there so we'll put a planet chip in there we're going to put earth in so if I simply if I shift right click it you see I'm now in it inside it so if I now put the apostrophe it also said destination NA not available we've got the guidance computer and here's a planet chip earth okay let's get out of this rocket it should launch it should be filling up which it has done and it's ready for launch let's launch it and this rocket will return to the same spot as it's taken off from because of it's got a seat and that's as simple as that as a seat. it's actually a bug so according to the developer I don't know how he's going to fix it because it's difficult to know whether or not a manned rocket is got a person in or an entity in it or whether it's just a considered as a um, with a seat it's probably easier not to leave the bug in there for me it helps <laughs> so the rocket should go up which it has done and that actually has more fuel than it had before now it's coming down again and when it gets to about the bottom of the T, it will actually start to become visible. So let's have a look. Can we see it yet? There it goes. And as you see, it's going to come back exactly at the same place as it took off from. And it's got the four engines, so it's the correct rocket. And of course I could do that, send this rocket off to the moon, wherever, and it would come to the same place. So, let's go do one last check and see whether or not the, the third rocket actually has appeared to where it should be. Let's go to this part, isn't it? Oh, yep, and there it is. And there it is. And it, the only trick is, it's got to be chunk loaded. As simple as that. Where is this one set to? I can't see, you see? I can take it up here have a look at it so it's got no pad on it uh, we have got nothing there that's actually the space station and that should be the pad too anyway, well let's put that in there like that oh I have one problem I have no fuel for it at the moment let me just see if I can get some I'm just thinking whether I can get some fuel from it quickly I normally have a tank of fuel and there I don't have any tanks of fuel and I think they're all empty now let's just sort that see this is actually a bit strange because these are all super pressure tanks and they're all got they're all empty they're all empty they should stack and they don't because it's got NTB data that prevents it from stacking so let's get out a so here I've got a, um, an ender tank. Let's just make another ender tank. I don't think I've got one in stock. And I don't have a crafting recipe for one actually. So I'll make one of those and we need two yellow dye. need to do this is a very useful trick by the way as well when you're dealing with rockets you know always need fuel I'm not always put, providing a fueling station is a bit of a pain so let's just color this in to match the color of the ones I've got the thing so it's yellow yellow and that should now fill up with rocket fuel have I got that wrong I might have got it in the middle hold on a second I've probably got the wrong color scheme I need another yellow and I need two white ones Shift right click by the way is the way to deal with that. Let's put the middle yellow one in the middle here like that. 
and then put the bone meal at the side. I think actually that's the correct pattern. Yeah, sure enough, it fills up with rocket fuel now. So what I can then do is to take a tank, this one, pressurized tank. It doesn't matter which one I use. Right click the right click that. Look at the pressurized tank. Now it's got two liters or two buckets of rocket fuel. I can then simply right click this one here like this. And that, that should now, let's have a look at it. I should right click this. It's nearly full of fuel, not quite. So we'll do it again. Right click the tank on there and shift right click. Now it's full. What I'm going to do, well you could also check this as well. We had a we had something in here, didn't we? We had two, yeah, two buckets of hydrogen. So it is definitely the right rec rocket. Tell you what we'll do. I'm not happy with what I've done here. I prefer it to land back on Earth. So let's take this link, link here and this one's unset. Let's just quickly disappear back to here. Let's go to the second launch pad, which is here, and shift right click on this one, like that. Check the coordinates, which is right. Come back here. Come back here and put the linker in here, like that. So it's not from the, it's, that was from the station, so it's not now. It's going to go to back to the. Um, let's all go to call it base. That's the destination. We'll play two two base, huh? Oh, it doesn't allow me to do that one. So two base. Like that, and then we can launch it now. Of course, to launch this this time, I've I've got to create a a rocket rocket monitoring station. It's the only way I can do it. So quickly, I need a rocket monitoring station, and I've got some of those in my bag, actually. Should be my gold one. Yeah, two of those. Put this down here like that. And then you just take the linker. Oh, I need another linker. Let's get one out of here. I think I've got some in this bag. If not, I've got them in this bag. Yep, loads of linkers. You need a lot of linkers, it's surprising. Shift right click that. Shift right click that. And then shift right click on the docking or the landing, the yeah, docking pad. And then we can launch it. And that should go back to where our base is. I can then pick up this tank, of course, it's a good idea. Oops, picked up too much sand as well. Let's put the sand back in that place. And let's just go over back to the base again. Let's see, this rocket will eventually appear here and should land on this spot here. It's chunk loaded because I've got a chunk loader here. So I don't know how long it's going to take, It'll probably take a few minutes. I'll just wait here for a few seconds, come back when it lands. Well, the rocket has just returned. It took quite a while and it certainly isn't as fast as the ones which go interdimensionally. As you can see here, there's an, another rocket that came back before. Um, the very last thing that I would like to say about uh, advanced rocketry in terms of rockets are the gas mining rockets. The gas mining rockets are slightly different. They are basically built with the unmanned assembler on a space station and sent from the space station around a gas giant. Now there's only one gas giant in this mod pack and that's Sol 3. And what you do with that one is it all it needs is basically obviously the rockets and the tanks or the engines and the tanks and it needs um, pressurized fluid tanks and gas intakes I haven't got it to work with drums or anything like that but I did give it one go so that's it for this episode I hope you've enjoyed it and learned something new about rockets and there's quite a lot about rockets in this mod pack so until then bye for now